holder of ever after. Any child with even the slightest hint of imagination, whimsy, and fantasy has had some sort of contact with the holder of ever after. It exists only within the domain of a pocket universe, created from the combined focus and imagination of millions of young children the world over. A universe created by purest innocence, before it is lost to the realization of the horrors of this world that comes with maturity. To enter the realm, you must wait until midnight of Halloween or Christmas. These are the only dates in which the children's imaginations run so wild, free, and uninhibited that they can create a stable enough connection from our world to the holders. Go to whatever location evokes your fondest childhood memories. That one special place that, as a lost little kid, was your sanctuary, your haven, where your imagination ruled above all others. Bring a chalkboard with you and lay it in the center of the area. Upon its edges, draw stars, rockets, whatever your imagination conjures up. You must truly enjoy this act, basking in the fondest memories of your childhood. It is of utmost importance that you never evoke any negative thoughts, for reasons later explained. When you are filled to the brim with a childlike glee, write upon the board. As a child, I believed, but maturity transformed my dreams into nightmares. I wish to dream again. Then lay the chalk on the board under your statement and close your eyes. Wait until you hear the scratching of the chalk on the board, and wait for it to completely cease before you open them. The board will respond, Dream with me, and you shall see. Hopefully you're familiar with this song, as you must now write the next lyric on the board. If you write anything else, you will never enjoy a restful night of sleep for the rest of your days. You will dream only of the deaths that shall befall all those you care about and will never be able to save. Don't bother trying to save them. That tends to make those dreams more likely to actually happen. If you respond correctly, you are free to leave. That night, if you truly enjoyed the experience, you will dream of the most euphoric moments of your childhood. Those special moments where evil was all but banished from your existence. If you let one negative thought enter your mind, however, you will dream only of the most horrific moments. Exaggerated tenfold. If you don't suffer cardiac arrest from all the trauma, consider yourself lucky. Regardless of your dreams, the next morning you will awaken to find resting on your chest an original first print of Alice in Wonderland. Within its pages are scribbled numerous mathematical equations of unknown origin and purpose. The first print is object 2010 of 2538. Within its pages lie the destinies of everything in the universe. Do you dare try to find your own?